hello again and I'm back with another quick video and I'm making some new coasters for Mother's Day or if you like them for birthdays so you can see that one I've coloured in and basically all I did is cut this image out on my Cricut and then I looked at it I mean it's on a sparkly base but I wanted to add a bit of colour to it and then I remembered um, when I made my silver holographic bookmarks and I made them rainbow by colour them in with um, permanent markers. So all I'm doing in now is using some Sharpie markers and I'm going around the gold outline. And I'm just going to colour in the leaves and the flower, the actual middle part where it says either world's best mum or nan. I'm going to leave that because that's going to be too tricky to colour in around those tiny letters. So I was just going to leave the ribbon um, as it is. As I said, it's a white base with some rainbow sparkly glitter. So it's giving it that little extra touch. And... Um, I will add the clear resin to protect this once this is dried and I'll do that off camera and I do know from doing that before that the resin does take the colour out of so what you can see now how vibrant and that it is um, it does take the colour away but as it dries it does come back but you'll see at the end what it done to the leaves. Um, they are no longer green. <laughs> but it's still pretty. And I'm in my shed and it's very windy. So I hope that the wind isn't picking up too much in this voiceover. So that are the leaves are done. Now I'm just doing the centre of the flowers with blue. And then each of the flowers will be a different colour from pink, purple, red and orange. And as I said, this is just you know, to give them that different look rather than just like the gold on the white, which did look pretty on its own. But I, I, I mean, I was racking my brain, so why it didn't occur to me sooner to actually colour them in with Sharpie markers, I do not know. Like I said, these colours are so vibrant and it looks so pretty. Uh, don't get me wrong, the finished article, once the top coat of resin is clear, is still very pretty. But the colours are not as vibrant, let's just say. But, I mean, you'll see that when I show the reveal at the end. So, yeah. And we're almost done. Just that tiny orange flower there. And then purple for the last flower. And you can see once I've done how pretty they both are. Very unique and unusual, as I said, they would be perfect for a birthday if you wanted to get in early for Mother's Day. Um, they will be available soon on my website under the Mum and Dad gift ideas. And there we go. Both ready for their top coat and super, super sparkly pretty. Okay, we're back. It's had its layer of resin and as you can see the purple looks pink, the red still looks red, the orange looks orangey red, but the leaves are blue <laughs> or turquoisey. And I also made these as well. They are just on a plain white base. So yeah, fun fun. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and until next time. Bye.